But you know what? Uh, that game really highlights kind of his career and why I think he wasn't more on a national stage because Tech had a historically bad defense that year, uh, which is why they didn't you know have a good overall season despite having a, a great talent in Patrick Mahomes. I mean, they lost that game to Oklahoma, even though Mahomes broke, uh, what, a half a dozen records that night. So uh, that's what, honestly, for me, what I remember is, wow, Pat I put up this great performance, but they still lost. <laughs> Right, and uh, got beat 66 to 59. Throws for 700, 800 total yards, and didn't walk off the field as a winner. Yeah, that tells you a little something about the uh, Red Raiders defense. Uh, playing under Cliff Kingsbury, who he still didn't quite pass as far as all time touchdown passes go. Uh, Kingsbury stuck around for all four years, and Mahomes only did three, and that's the difference there. Uh, but how much did Kingsbury, former college football uh, highlight quarterback, how much did that help? progress him was that uh, I, was Kingsbury even the coach when he just first committed to Texas Tech yeah he was and Kingsbury was instrumental in uh, in actually bringing him to Texas Tech developing him and all that actually Mahomes didn't have another committable power five offer by the time he signed with the Red Raiders I think Oklahoma State offered at one point but then you know got another quarterback and backed off I mean Mahomes was the max press male national athlete of the year for all sports. He was the Texas High School Football Player of the Year as far as Associated Press uh, for all classifications, which is a big deal down here in Texas. Uh, but he still didn't have a lot of offers. And some people theorized because maybe he was going to go baseball. His dad, you know, a long-time professional pitcher. Uh, but he said, he scoffed at that. Pat, when I asked him about that, he scoffed today. He said, look, Jared Goff, he's a guy who, had, you know, he was drafted high. And he had a million offers. He goes, I don't know why people didn't believe in me, but Cliff Kingsbury believed in me, and it was that loyalty is the reason why I came to Texas Tech. And I, I think the thing with Mahomes is you look at his film, like his high school film, I mean, it was amazing. It is amazing uh, out in White, White House, Texas, New Texas. But uh, you got to wonder, is that going to work, him scrambling around and throwing it 60 yards up, you know, to, in, against Big 12 competition? But... Uh, obviously, it did. He was better in college with better weapons around him. And then, uh, so far, he looks even better in Kansas City, which is a great situation. Great weapons. Andy Reid, you couldn't ask for a better offensive mind in the NFL today. So, it's kind of weird. Like, do you think, is that going to work at the next level? But, obviously, yeah, I mean, he's a different kind of talent. So, when Kingsbury got a hold of him, he's worked with Baker Mayfield, Davis Webb, uh, obviously, Pat. I mean, Alan Bowman stepped in as a true freshman this year and was leading the country and passing before it went down. So did Kingsbury have a big role in, in Pat Mahomes? Yeah, absolutely. Understood. We're talking to uh, Jared Johnson, publisher of Inside the Red Raiders dot com about uh, where Pat Mahomes came from and the kind of quarterback that he was when he's w with Texas Tech. I hear what you're saying about him being, because I know he was a very highly ranked baseball player. He was even drafted as a senior out of high school. Uh, didn't go to like in the 30th round, 30 some round. But it was because he had stepped out and said, well, I'm going to play football. I'm going to Texas Tech to play football, and that's why baseball teams thought it might be a waste of a draft pick, and it was for the Detroit Tigers who took him. Why didn't others, if Kings, uh, Cliff Kingsbury believed that he wanted to play in football, why do you think the other universities questioned it and thought that maybe he'd go back because his father is an ex-major leaguer? It just doesn't seem to make sense. It, it really doesn't, and you know what? I, I, I think... A lot of people don't know this, but he actually was an amazing basketball player as well. I mean, they know, uh, of course, about baseball and then <laughs> football, but he didn't really start playing football hardcore until he, uh, he was in high school. Uh, he just kind of had the afterthought, uh, football's so big in Texas, that's where the juice is, you know, I'll give it a try. Uh, uh, he had a 37-point, 22-rebound high school playoff game as a senior, and he was the MVP of the whole region of East Texas. Uh, in basketball, <laughs> just kind of like, oh, I guess I'll, I'll play basketball during basketball season. And then, of course, dominant in baseball and football. Now, why the other schools didn't see uh, what, you know, what Pat is, I, I have no idea. Other than, I will say, quarterback is probably the hardest position to project. But uh, he's such an amazing arm talent. It's kind of hard to see why so many teams pass on it's, it's a great question. The people in Kansas City are saying real good things about not only his play, which is rather obvious, but also the fact that he's cool as a cucumber. That, yeah, they took a year to bring him along slowly. They had Alex Smith, 
who had another pretty damn good year last year but came up small in the playoffs and they made the decision to turn it over to uh, Pat Mahomes. They drafted him for to be the future quarterback, just didn't know when the future was going to start. Everything I've heard is that he was ready to take over, that this wasn't them pushing the envelope. Uh, they had shown not only on the field that he was ready to play, but mentally as a leader as well, was ready to take over and become the man in Kansas City. Did he show those traits at Texas Tech? Yeah, nothing ever seemed too big for him, and I think a big part of that is the fact that his dad was a professional uh, pitcher for, what, twenty years, over two decades. So he associated with a lot of pro athletes as a little kid. He was used to being around that, so... While some kids might be starstruck by certain situations or meeting certain people or, or what have you, no, Pat was never like that. He always took everything in stride, and like you said, he seemed very, always very even killed. All right, give us the lowdown on this kid, Bowman, who is your quarterback, said that he's injured right now? Yeah, he actually suffered a partially collapsed lung against West Virginia in the first half. Uh, he was in the hospital for four days, but... I, this, I'm no doctor. I didn't say it all the end last night, but, man, uh, I, I don't know how they have this timeline, but they're saying he could be back as far as, uh, or as close as two weeks from now from wow. a partially collapsed lung, which I, that sounds crazy to me, but um, that's what the doctor states. So he, uh, anywhere from one to three or four games, he's probably going to miss. But uh, he was lighting it up as a true freshman uh, out, of, out of Grapevine, Texas, there through the first four games. Right. I was going to say, uh, unlike Mahomes, who only played in the second half of his freshman year, he grabbed the starting job right out of the gate. Um, that's too bad that he's going to miss a couple games here. And I'm, yeah, a collapsed lung sounds like more than a couple weeks injury to me, but right. we'll see. He might be a tough kid and be able to pull off something like that. Our, uh, the all time records that, uh, he didn't get, when I say he, I mean Pat Mahomes because he decided right. to go early. Are they in Bowman's potential grasp? Well, yeah, I mean, he threw for like 11,000 yards in high school uh, as a four-year starter. So if he stays all four years, and you know, he mentioned the Kingsbury holds some records, he, he reminds Pat of that when he talks to him, too. <laughs> he's like, hey, you didn't say your, your last year. It's too bad. <laughs> you know, he, he, he sure let him know. He talks uh, trash to him about that stuff. But I know, uh, you know Bowman has a shot, but you know, he's so early in his career. He's made, what did I say, three starts, and he's played in four games. So or I guess it's, he's played in five games, and he's made four starts. So... Yeah, he's a long way to go, but, I mean, he was leading the country in passing uh, before he went down. So, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. All right, and the Red Raiders had the uh, Saturday off, but they come back with a Thursday night game against TCU. Yes. Who, who, who are the biggest? Uh, Texas is the state for football, uh, certainly on a high school level. You could argue it on a college level as well. Who's Texas Tech's biggest rival? That's a great question. I, what I like to tell people is they hate everybody. Texas Tech fans hate everybody. <laughs> so, but I, I will tell you, TCU, uh, their next opponent, like you just mentioned, uh, for the younger generation since TCU joined the Big 12, uh, the Red Raiders, their biggest alumni base, is actually in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So, some of their friends go to TCU, and and the younger generation they hate TCU. So, that's actually. Uh, a pretty big rivalry there for, for the Red Raiders. And, and right now sitting at 3-2, and two, got that big again game against TCU, uh, competing for a big 12 title. You got to win them all, basically, because uh, yeah. you've already uh, stubbed your toe uh, last week against West Virginia. But if it comes down to a showdown, a couple of one-loss uh, Texas teams in Texas Tech and Texas uh, about a month from now, uh, November 10th, how big a game would that game you're going to win? Oh, that would be so huge. <laughs> that would be amazing. The biggest game in probably Texas Tech history, definitely recent history, was 2008 against Texas when they both were highly ranked. And Michael Crabtree got a last-second touchdown to upset UT. And that was, I mean, Red River fans still talk about that, at least on a monthly basis. Uh, it was a big deal. So Texas, big win, obviously, uh, today. If they keep it rolling and if Texas can get back on track here, then yeah, that would be that would be amazing. And I'm going to say there are less points scored this year in the Oklahoma Texas game than when uh, Pat Mahomes and Baker Mayfield <laughs> matched up. Just that's, take yeah, a little that's shot that's here and go under 125 because that's what they combined at before. Yeah, I, I'd say that's that's a pretty good uh, prediction there for sure. Good stuff. Appreciate you coming on and giving us some insight, Jared. Have a great season. We'll talk to you down the road. Hey, thank you so much, Jody Mack. It was an honor. My pleasure. Jared Johnson, publisher of InsideTheRedRaiders.com. 
Yeah, they saw this coming with Pat Mahomes. Yeah, they knew they had something special. Yeah, they knew that he wasn't sticking around for all four years. Sorry about that. But when you go out and get a quarterback who does the kind of things that he did and put up the numbers that he did, yeah, guys are going to go early into the NFL. And right now it looks like Kansas Chiefs made a heck of a pick. Moving up in the draft to get him in the first round a couple of years ago. Jody Mack, hanging with you here on CBS Sports Radio. I'll reopen the phone lines. i got 40-plus minutes to play. You can get aboard by dialing 855-212-4227. Get you on CBS Sports Radio. Hey, folks, when it comes to multi-position ladders, don't monkey around. Check out the new Werner Multi-Position Pro Ladder, made by the number one brand in ladders. It's versatile, compact, and actually converts to five different ladders in one. And at a 375-pound rating, it's Werner's lightest and strongest yet. Don't be fooled by brands with less positions or require accessories. Get a Multi-Position Pro from Werner, the number one brand in ladders. Check out our video or find a retailer near you at WernerLadder.com. That's WernerLadder.com. Hi, Kevin Harlan for Navient Tankless Water Heaters. With fall coming, energy bills will be on the rise. That's why now is a good time to install an energy-efficient Navian Tankless Water Heater. In fact, Navian earned the industry's highest Energy Star rating. A Navian Tankless Water Heater is a smart alternative to that old energy-wasting tank water heater. Fall's coming, so start cutting your energy bills with a Navian Tankless Water Heater. For the name of your professional Navian contractor, visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $28.95 and get a $10 O'Reilly gift card by mail. Protect your engine from sludge and wear with Mobile One full synthetic motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. I can't believe it. That we're playing four and four basketball with the barbershop quartet? No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. And the local sports talk you want. That's right. On Sports 1140 KHDK. Oh, we do sports. Hi, folks. Lon Legman, Mr. Motorhome. It's time to take advantage of our great fall specials at Mr. Motorhome. All the RVs on the lot are marked down to the lowest prices of the year. So if you're looking for a great deal on a gently used RV, now's the time to come down and see us at Mr. Motorhome. We have the best selection on the planet. Highway 99, Elk Grove Boulevard, just 10 minutes from downtown Sacramento. And, of course, visit our website. MrMotorHome.com, where we have 3D pictures and videos of all our inventory. Sacramento Republic FC is back in action at Papa Murphy's Park, Saturday, October 13th, as they play host to the Las Vegas Lights FC in the regular season finale. Don't miss all the excitement on the pitch as the boys in Old Red Glory battle their conference rival for supremacy. Game time, 7.30. Single game tickets are on sale now. Call 916-307-6100 or go to SacRepublicFC.com for info. That's 916-307-6100 or SacRepublicFC.com. Don't miss out on all the fun at Papa Murphy's Park. Get your tickets now. If you need a work truck, you need a dealer who works as hard as you. Like Mada Chevy in the Elk Grove Auto Mall. A business elite dealer. Mada Chevy has the commercial vehicle you're looking for. Work ready, silver autos, express beds, commercial loaners, and so much more. All backed by Mada Chevy pros who know your vehicles are your livelihood. Whether you need one vehicle or an entire fleet, Mada Chevy's got you covered. Business elite at Mada Chevy. Sacramento's number one Chevy dealer for over 10 years. Find a new road. Sacramento homeowners, there's never been a better time to permanently fix your low water pressure, rusty water, or pipe leaks by repiping your home today. Repipe Specialist has been serving the Sacramento area for many years, collectively repiping over 35,000 homes in our 25 plus years. We've built a reputation on offering the most efficient repipe process for customer convenience, repiping an entire home in just one to two days, patching your walls, and providing a lifetime guarantee. Repipe Specialist only uses the best repiping materials with high quality packs or USA. Great.
Grade L copper pipes. For a limited time, take advantage of our most affordable offer. Right now on approved credit, get 0% interest for an entire year. That's right, a quality home repipe, wall patching, and a lifetime guarantee, and 0% interest. Repipe Specialist provides a free in-home estimate, explaining the process tailored for your home. So call Repipe Specialist today for your free in-home estimate at 888-256-6379. 888-256-6379. 888-256-6379. They say give credit where credit's due. Well, the Lasher Used Car Supercenter specializes in exactly that. Credit. Got bad credit? No credit? We can help put you in the car you need today. The right car right now. The Upfront Auto Mall online at LasherAuto.com. 70. Open 855-212-4227. The CBS Sports Radio Talk Free Line brought to you by Geico. Quick way you can save good money. Switch to Geico. Doesn't matter what type of insurance you need. It could be homeowners, rentals, motorcycles, boats. If you've got something that needs to be insured, chances are Geico can do it for you. And you can probably do it for less. So get it all at geico.com. Uh, hop on my phone lines, 855-212-4CBS. Or tweet the show. At Jody McMahon, J O D Y M A C M A N. Got a couple decent candidates for the Mac Daddy tweet of the day. Could be top. If you can do better, you could be the Mac Daddy tweet of the day. Send it to me at Jody McMahon, J O D Y M A C M A N. We got 30 plus minutes to go. Get it in now. Austin from South Carolina is on CBS Sports Radio. Hello, Austin. Hey, Jody. How you doing tonight? Good, bud. You. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, my team won and won in a fashion that I was very pleased with. You can live with 63 to 3, huh? Uh, you know, maybe a few more points would have made me a little happier. Oh, but you're, you're, uh, uh, now you're just uh, rubbing it into the uh, four Wake uh, Forest fans. Hey, I hate that it had to come to, to Wake Forest. But they just happen to line up on the schedule right behind us. That you know played us to the last second. We had to come in and find our guts in the words of Dabo because uh, we got to bring our own guts, and we found them. And I think we found the the offense in that game. Uh, if it wasn't very showing in the Syracuse game with 27 points, but I think we showed it today. And yeah. I'm not saying that Wake Forest is the best defense in the world, because it's not. It's pretty porous, to say the least. Um, and, you know, they're going to say, everybody's going to say that the Clemson hater, I don't know if there there are, I'm sure there are, but they're going to say, well, it's Wake Forest. But, I mean, it's still, to me, it, you still have to go in and win week in, week out. And on a day when a couple of undefeateds have already lost, you know, we survived another weekend. Right, and they, uh, they actually dropped a couple of spots in the poll uh, last week because of the close game that they played against Syracuse. Now, two things. Number one, the poll means nothing. The only poll that matters is the playoff poll, and that's not coming out for a couple of weeks. So it's it's a beauty pageant, Mark. That's all that it is. And just keep winning games, do what you have to do, and then uh, when the real poll comes out, then you can actually start worrying about it. But they did drop down. Uh, they might take a step back up with the 60 cent style points seem to count and they needed they they got docked for some style points having to be uh, rallying from and coming back from behind to beat Syracuse 63 to 3 does or at least should open up some eyes uh, you mentioned the Wake Forest defense being a little on the poorest side yeah that would be an understatement uh, let me give you a couple of numbers for Clemson guys today Adam Choice rushed the ball 10 times for 128 yards. 10 rushes for 128. 
That's a 12.8 per carry day for Mr. Choice. Guess what? He wasn't the top choice. Lynn J. Dixon also rushed it 10 times for Clemson today. He went for 163 yards. That's 16.3 yards per carry. And guess what? Mr. Dixon wasn't their best running back. The guy who took them on their back on his back last week and lifted them to that win over Syracuse. Travis Etienne also carried it 10 times today. So all three of their main backs got 10 carries apiece. That's spreading it out evenly. He went for a buck 67 on 10 carries. 16.7 per. And oh, by the way, he found the end zone three times. Uh, Dixon got it, got there twice, and Choice got there once. I'd say they ran the ball effectively well, pretty well today against Wake Forest. Holy mackerel. 471 yards on the ground and six touchdowns. That's getting the job done on the ground. Tony from Port St. Lucie's on CBS Sports Radio. Hey, Tom. It's amazing how David Price uh, is totally psyched out by the Yankees. Is it the Yankees or is it the playoffs? The the Yankees own them. And Sanchez, forget about it. He he has like seven lifetime homers in 14 uh, hits out of uh, out of 14 hits, seven a home run. Damn. Hey, he and must... The amazing thing is the, the umpire behind home plate is the biggest pitcher-friendly umpire there is. Bellino, he umped 20 games this year and four went under. Uh, four went over and 16 of them went, went under. Okay, you are my uh, guru when it comes to under, over, and umpires in a way that they uh, call a game. Yeah, apparently not effective enough for Mr. Price, and Sanchez must just see the ball real well out of his hands because he's hitting below 200, but if you tell me he owns Price, seven home runs, that's pretty damn impressive for a second-year player. Do you um, do you foresee Buckshaw Walker by the again? It's a good question. Um... It, 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 Buck will be talked to, and my guess is Buck will be offered at least one job. He is going to have to take a pay cut, not because his team won. What they win? Fifth. Yeah, the Orioles were the absolute worst team in baseball. Not because of that, but just because Major League Baseball has changed. They cut down on the manager's salaries. Nobody's making the big bucks anymore. Bochy. Joe Walter and Madden were really the only three who were making big bucks. And uh, Buck is not going to get paid what he used to get paid. If he's willing to work for less, I think he'll be offered a job. Don't know if he takes it. Don't know if he decides to pass on it. That he doesn't want to acknowledge that the parameters of Major League Baseball have changed. They think less of umpires. He's a great manager. I think he's one of the best managers in baseball, has been for the last decade or so. But he's also a hands-on guy who wants to have his fingers in every pie, have a little bit to say about how everything runs, and isn't the kind of guy who's going to take day-in and day-out dictation from a general manager and or a young general manager. And there are some very young general managers in Major League Baseball right now. So there are a couple of hurdles that would need to be gotten over for Buck to get a job in this upcoming season. I think he's too good not to get at least one offer. And I think we're going to have at least four, if not five, managerial openings. Well, I should just say four because one of them is going to be Baltimore, which he's not going to be uh, going back to. Uh, I think someone will offer him a job, but there could be certain situations and circumstances under which he would say, no, thank you. He could go back to ESPN or the MLB Network. He's done the whole broadcaster thing before, and that's not a bad little way station to be in when you're ra- waiting for the right job to come along again. 877-337-6666. I got Tyler from Texas. Go punch him up when I get back. Other than that, lines are open. So get aboard at 855-212-4227. I got the number right this time. Which one did I give earlier? 
Oh, I gave out the New York number I was early today. You can call them. They won't pick up because they're broadcasting Yankee game right now. So call me here, 855-212-4227. Jordy Mack here with you on CBS Sports Radio. Back on the lines after the latest sports update with Darwin Zook. Blasted the most regular season homers in big league history, and it carried it over to the postseason. Aaron Judge's tape measure shot the center, and Gary Sanchez smashed into the monster seats at Fenway, gave the Yankees a 2-0 lead over the Red Sox. Then Andrew McCutcheon's RBI single knocked Boston starter David Price out of the game after just one and two-thirds innings. The Yankees now lead it 3-0 in the top of the fourth. Masahiro Tanaka on the hill for New York. In the other AL series, the Astros defeated the Indians 3-1 to go up two games to none. It was Garrett Cole leading the way for the defending champs. He went seven innings, allowing just the run, striking out 12, and issuing no walks. He's just the second pitcher in big league history to fan at least 12 and have no walks in a postseason game. The only other pitcher to do it, Tom Seaver in 1973. The college football, number one Alabama, continues to dominate. They crushed Arkansas 65-31. Ohio State all over Indiana 49-26. Clemson pummeled Wake Forest 63-3. Miami edged Florida State 28-27. Florida knocked off number 5 LSU 27-19. Northwestern was on the road looking to pull off the upset of Michigan State. On second down, Dorsey takes the gift, throws left, snaps up, and firing wide open at the 40. It's caught, 35-30. This is going to be a touchdown to the 10-5. Touchdown wide open. Tyrick McGowan all by himself. Davey Nett, Learfield on the call. Northwestern going on for the 29-19 victory over the Spartans. Texas got a 40-yard field goal from Cameron Dicker with nine seconds left. Upset Oklahoma, 48-45. West Virginia, no issues with Kansas, 38-22. Michigan doubled up Indiana, 42-21. Colorado, 28. Arizona State, 21. NC State's 5-0 after a 28-23 win over BC. Iowa State, 48. Oklahoma State, a 42. Games in progress. Central Florida, 34. SMU, 13. One minute to go in the third. End of the third. Texas A&M and Kentucky tied at seven. Georgia, 21-6 lead on Vanderbilt at the half. 11 minutes to go in the third. Mississippi State up on Auburn, 13-3. At the half, Washington, 24. UCLA, 7. And Notre Dame at the 10-6 lead on Virginia Tech. Six, six minutes to go until halftime. I'm Darwin Zook. Scrap the honeydew list and listen to me. DA, Sunday morning football tomorrow, 9 Eastern. Right here from CBS Sports Radio. This is Sports 1140 KHDK. KHDK. We Sports. I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's premier home purchase lender. Today's fluctuating interest rates can leave you with unexpected higher mortgage payments. At Quicken Loans, we've created a new way to protect you from unpredictable interest rates so you can buy a home with certainty. It's called Rate Shield, and here's how it works. With Rate Shield, you can lock your interest rate while you shop for a new home. So if rates go up, you don't have to worry. And here's the best part. If rates go down, you get the lower rate. With Rate Shield, we really have you covered. Here are more reasons why you'll want to work with America's largest mortgage lender. For eight years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. And for the fifth year in a row, they've also ranked us highest in the nation for mortgage servicing. Rate Shield, another way we can save you money on your mortgage. Call us today at 800 Quicken or go to rocketmortgage.com. Based on Rocket Mortgage data in comparison to public data records, Rate Shield approval only valid on certain 30-year purchase transactions. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Additional conditions or exclusions may apply. Geico presents eyewitness interviews with inanimate objects. This is Belinda Collins, live on the scene of a recent hailstorm, here to describe the events of football. Bro, I was just hanging on the roof when this gnarly storm starts dropping baseball-sized hail. I mean, the shingles got beat up. A few windows looked broken. It was savage. Did you do anything to help? Nah, bro. I was in survival mode. Your football can help you in a hailstorm, but the GEICO Insurance Agency can help you get covered for personal property damage. Call GEICO to see how affordable homeowners insurance can be. Defend your vehicle from harmful elements and restore shine with Armor All Original Protectant. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today and pick up a bottle of Armor All Original Protectant for $5.99. Renew, revitalize, and protect your vehicle with Armor All Original Protectant. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Live local sports talk. We have a station on day and night. Live.
Worldwide Sporting Event. Furniture and sleep. It is that special time of year at Beck. It's the anniversary time, 51 years, and that is five decades of service. And the sales are tremendous. No interest, no money down, no minimum purchase. The deals are abundant. Bedroom sets, recliners, bar, pub sets, dining sets, not to mention the Beck's dream team and what they can do for you. I'm telling you, there is so much to mention at Beck's Furniture and Sleep that I'll go crazy trying to do it. Tell them DC sent you. Visit them today. Beck'sFurniture.com. Are you stuck with an inaccurate credit report? A credit report that's causing you to be denied credit? Then do what Kathy did and call Lexington Law Firm. First time I had the car, and it was, ugh, they wouldn't finance the car. One call was all it took to start back on the track to repairing her credit. I'm telling you, it was amazing. Y'all have really changed my life. I could not have straightened this out by myself. Don't let an inaccurate credit report hold you back. California residents call Lexington Law for a free credit consultation at 800-928-0387. That's 800-928-0387. 800-928-0387. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. Your results will vary. John C. Heath, Attorney at Law, PLLC, DBA, Lexington Law, and of Counsel Attorneys. 316 North Cutler Drive, North Salt Lake, Utah, 84054. Adam Fullman of Counsel to Lexington Law in California. Prices have been slashed again at Orchard Supply Hardware Store Closing Sale. Now take 30 to 70% off at Orchard Supply Hardware Stores. Limited exceptions of block. Whether you're remodeling, repairing, or starting from scratch, everything you need is on sale. Looking for letters, paint, like pictures, or thermostats? You name it, it's on sale. All your favorite brands on sale. Time is running out to get 30 to 70%. Off at Orchard Supply Hardware. Discounts off, lowest ticketed prices, limited exceptions apply. Hurry before it's too late. We're closing, so you're saving. Don't miss Orchard Supply Hardware store closing sale. Retired? You probably have more risk in your portfolio than you've been told. A financial crisis could bring 40% losses. What would you do then? Listen to Fifty Shades of Money every Saturday at 8 a.m. and get the answers from Peak Financial. Again, that's 1-800-312-9970. telephone numbers. That doesn't begin to compare to my football picks. 
My God, have I been awful the last couple of weeks. So undaunted by that, I will give you three pro picks before we get out of here today. Yes, please, go for it with caution. Knowing full well my picks have not been, have been substandard of late. But I'll give you the three that I do like in tomorrow's NFL action coming up before we get out of here. Well, let me get some calls in. That's more important than my picks. That's for damn sure. 855-212-4227. Mitch from Jersey's up on CBS Sports Radio. Hey, Mitch. How's it going, Jerry? How you doing? Good, bud. I'm the king of mistakes, so uh, I get more mistakes in one, one minute of call than you do in the whole show. Here's the beauty of it. You get a chance, you get another chance. That's what's great about life. You make a mistake... You try and correct it, you move on. Exactly. Um, three things. I think there's need for the Dodgers. And they're seeing, I mean, they don't get a lot of guys on base, but they're hitting a lot of home runs. They finally made some trades on the offensive side. And do you think they'll keep Manny and Clayton in a cursor for next year? But I get one series at a time. I think tomorrow, I think they get into the World Series at least, and then you could match up. Uh, I think Kershaw, well, uh, I think they're about a 50-50 shot on Manny, which is good because every other team's going to make a play for him, and if they're at 50-50, that means they've got a better percentage than anybody else. Um, um, great with him and Sia in the same intro. That, that's taking the page for the Yankees. Just when the Yankees got a chair calls in. See, that's, that's, that's the question. Who plays where? I don't think Manny man, man, go back to third. Well, maybe second. Maybe one of the guys can play second. Because I'm, I'm happy with Kiki. Dozier and Trees, they didn't have to get those guys. All right. Well, just, no, they were they, they were what they were, acquisitions for the rest of the year to try and get them home and get them a champion. Yeah, Dozier and Trees were going to I don't think either one of those guys are going to be back. But Justin Turner is a stone-cold key to that offense. When he plays and he hits, they win. So you, Turner's got to be part of the equation. Now, formerly he was a second baseman. Um, he hadn't played over there for a while. He's become a third baseman. He's a damn good third baseman. And I think he'd be a below average second baseman. But if you're going to put Seager at short and move Manny over to third, not move Manny to second, which I don't think uh, he would want uh, that to be the case. If he's going to retire with the Dodgers, they're going to have to be honest with him and tell him where they plan on playing him. He, he'll probably accept moving back to third I'm pretty sure he wouldn't accept moving to second base, which means if that's the case, you got to move Turner over to second base going forward. Well, how about first base or even Corey? Corey's total and Corey can play center. Yeah, no, I think Bellinger's going to be in the outfield for them next year. Hey, are you just replacing Max Muncy? I oh, guess no, you could go Muncy at second and Turner at first. You see, but now you got a lot of guys playing out of their best position. If they didn't make Max a part-time player the last month and a half, he would have had 40 runs in the league. league. That's what I mean. So, uh, I, I yeah, gotta believe he's going nowhere fast. Dodgers have, uh, they've got depth. And that's why they are uh, probably the favorite now. Milwaukee fans will tell you because of their bullpen, they might be the favorite. Uh, the Dodgers and the Brewers are going to play for the, the championship. Sorry. Rockies and uh, Braves fans, but those two series are over. Um, no, I, I think it should be a good series between those two teams. Oh, big play here. Uh, Notre Dame, Vatek. Vatek had gotten a field goal, cut it to 10-9, and the quarterback was scrambling, trying to get away, and he coughed up the football. Scoop and score. Pick six, fumble return for Notre Dame. I'm not seeing any flags on the play. Looks like it's going to stand, so Notre Dame will extend their lead. Had been cut to one, but now uh, pending an extra point at 16-9 to nine with the PAT yet to come. Uh, big play on the defensive side for Notre Dame. Ernie from Tennessee is up on CBS Sports Radio. Hey, Ernie. I think uh, the Indians forgot to show up. What's wrong with them, uh, Jody Max? They, no, no, they, they ran into two really good pitchers, which everybody should have known. The Astros have Verlander in Game One and then Cole in Game Two. Yeah, but uh, Cleveland is probably the what fourth best team in the in the uh, playoff series, and uh, all four of them are in the uh, American, American League. League. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the the Astros, Red Sox, the Yankees all won 100 games, and the Indians won 91 and had had it on cruise control for the last month and a half of the season. 
and uh, my Georgia Bulldogs are playing Vandy, and uh, Vandy's being a little stingy with them. Uh, I saw 21 7. What is it now? 21 6. Okay. 21 6. Um, and George is going to win. It might be a competitive game for uh, a while. They're still in the second quarter, so um, I, I, I wouldn't. Oh, excuse me, not 28 6. Uh, moving into the third quarter. And fear not, uh, the Bulldogs are not getting upset tonight. And I want to put a little plug in for my East Tennessee State Buccaneer football team. We are 5 and 1 for the first time since 1996, which we didn't have football for 13 years, but. Uh, Five and one for the first time since 1996, and three and zero in the Southern Conference. Yeah. Randy Sanders is doing a pretty good job here. Good for them. Don't know much about their football program, and you're my uh, lifeline of information to their basketball program. You always call and give us the update on uh, how good their basketball program is and the winning that conference and getting uh, invites into the big dance. I hope they got an improved football program. Good for them. Dale from Missouri's up on CBS Sports Radio. Hello, Dale. Hello there, sir. How are you, uh, bud? All right, I'm, I'm with you there. I ain't been picking more of the crap on my uh, weekly picks. Uh -huh. I got three upsets I'm trying this week. I just thought what, what you would like to. All right, run them by me. Uh, Arizona over San Francisco. Not impossible. Arizona's pretty bad, but 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 uh, you're getting points with San Francisco, and I'm a C.J. Beathard fan, so that's yeah. not outrageous. Oh, yeah. Buffalo over Tennessee. You're getting points at home with Buffalo. I don't like the fact that the line has moved up. It opened up at three and has gone to four and a half or five. If you get five, it might be worth playing, yes. Okay, and then the Jets at Denver at home. Nah, it's a pick em game. Uh, you can go yeah. on an upset either way. Uh, okay, yeah, you're correct on that. In case you listen, don't listen to the show often enough, Dale. Yours truly is a diehard Jet fan. I, I live yeah. and breathe the Jets. Uh, yeah. And I picked them three times this year, the first three games of the season, which meant one win and two losses, because that's what they did as far as uh, the, the standings go, and that's what they did against the spread as well. Yeah, I'm staying away from the Jet game. I, I want to root for them. I will be rooting for them. I can guarantee you that. I'm afraid of this game. Um, Denver, uh, short week, coming across country. Certain things make you believe that the uh, Jets should be able to win this game, but the Jets have not been playing well. After that first game against Detroit, they've actually gone backwards. Their offensive line scares me. They're not getting enough pressure on the quarterback. They supposedly upgraded their defensive secondary. And last week, Tremaine Johnson, who they paid a whole hell of a lot of money to, and I thought it was a good sign because with the Rams, he was one of the better cover corners in the National Football League, uh, got abused last week by Blake Bortles. Not a good sign. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty damn tentative about the Jets. I'm not going to touch that game. I wish you luck. I hope you're on the right side, Jets, because uh, that's what I'm rooting for but I think either team can win that game. I'll give you the three games that I do like. And again, truth in advertising here, my picks have not been great. Sub 500, last two weeks. I took Oklahoma earlier today. How'd that go for me as a seven-point favorite on the road? They lose uh, on a late field goal. I, I, I didn't even need to root for overtime because if you get into overtime, uh, you did the best I could do. Anyway, um, the Packers and the Lions are a pick 'em game. It opened as, as a pick 'em and it has stayed as a pick 'em. And I uh, went down in flames with Green Bay last week. I, I'm going to give them another shot here. I still think Aaron Rodgers, and they've got wide receiver issues. You won't know till tomorrow morning if guys are uh, going to be able to play. Um, they, they, they could be a little undermanned. Maybe that's why it is still just a pick em. I actually thought the Packers would be a favorite in this game. Point, maybe two. Thought it would be under a field goal, but it's a toss-up game. Uh, I'm going to take Green Bay. I'm just not a Detroit fan. Uh, it's going to take time for Matt Patricia to get his type of players and his system into Detroit. Sometimes new coaches hit the ground running. Uh, I didn't think that was going to be the case with Detroit this year and hasn't been so far. Uh, they are one and three and they just 
I handed that game to Dallas last week, let him march down the field uh, at the end and score the winning uh, points. So shame on that Detroit defense. I think Green Bay puts up enough against the uh, Lion defense tomorrow to walk away with a victory. And the late game, or two late afternoon games, only one one o'clock game am I taking, that's the pack. Uh, I'll, I'll take both of the two four o'clock games tomorrow. Well, you've also got uh, Raiders and Chargers in Arizona and San Francisco. But the two best games are the Vikings and the Eagles and the Rams and the Seahawks. Uh, and Philly hadn't gotten out of the gate real well. And two and two is not what they were planning on being at this time. And they did not look good coughing up a lead last week to Tennessee and losing in overtime. And yes, Minnesota's got revenge coming into this game for those shellacking the Eagles put on them in last year's uh, NFC Championship game. I can't see the Eagles fall below 500. The, the, the Vikings are already below 500. They lose them all. They go to one, three, and one, which is a hole they got to dig out of. And that's what I think they're going to have to do. I think they're going to have to dig out of that hole. The Eagle defense for whatever reason, is superiorly better at home than it is on the road. They're one of the best defenses in football at home. We're all last year. We're the two home games they've had this year. On the road, mediocre, pedestrian. This game's in Philadelphia. Eagles are only a field goal favorite. I thought it would be more like four or five. So I'm going to take the Eagles and I'm going to lay the three points. And you know I'm on that Ram bandwagon. Since I'm not picking winners anyway, I might as well pick the team that I picked when the season started. If I'm going to win, might as well double down and tell you it's going to be the Rams. Seattle got a nice win last week, but they lose Earl Thomas. And whether he was not happy about being there and flipped him off on the way off the field. He wasn't playing badly. He was getting picks. That's just another hole in the no longer Legion of Boom defense. I think Goff will throw it all over the lot. Uh, I know Seattle's supposed to be a tough place to play. It just isn't what it used to be. Sorry, 12th man up there. Rams go in and win by more than a touchdown. They're a seven-point favorite. I'll take the Rams minus the seven. So I got the Eagles minus three, Rams minus seven, and the Packers in a pick-up game. And I also have a Mac Daddy tweeted today. Somebody sent it in earlier. Oh, shoot, I just closed my Twitter. I hit X out by mistake. Uh, it was in reference to the Red Sox and the Yankees. I'll see if I get this punched up as quickly as possible because it was a decent tweet. I want to give uh, props where props are due. Uh, from Matthew Wilson at Matt Framingham who uh, writes uh, Jody Mac, things that are easy to predict. The sun rising in the east, the leaves falling from the trees in the fall and David Price thinking up the joint in the playoffs. Hashtag reality. Yeah, they got him out before he could do more damage. It's 3-1 Yanks. They moved to the top of the fifth. Joe Kelly actually pitched well in relief to this point. Red Sox trying to fight their way back in it, but congrats to Matthew Wilson. He's the Daddy Mac tweet of the day. All right, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Turn it over to the NFL. Thanks to the boys on the other side of the glass. Enjoy your Saturday. At Discover, we believe anniversaries should be a time of celebration, not obligation. That's why we think annual fees are ridiculous. And now just for giving us a try, we're going to give new card members a one-year anniversary gift they'll never forget. At the end of your first year, we'll match all the cash back you've earned dollar for dollar. No caps and no catches, because we know if you try us, you'll like us. And that's worth every penny. Try it and believe it at discover.com slash match. Cash back match offer only for new card members. Limitations apply. <laughs> right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $28.95 and get a $10 O'Reilly gift card by mail. Protect your engine from sludge and wear with Mobile One full synthetic motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Finally, after three agonizing weeks, the Raiders tasted victory for the first time this season. Can the Raiders make it two in a row? Looks like an intercepting this Sunday to face division rival Philip Rivers and the Chargers. Game time is at 105 Sunday. Touchdown, Jordan Nelson! You're on your home for the Silver and Black. Touchdown, Raiders leaders! 
1140 KHTK. Carmichael Dave here to talk to you about my good friends at Fire Wings. You know, there's a reason that they are now the three-time champion of the Sacktown Wing Festival. I've been saying it for months. These are the best wings around. Many people tweeted me, thanking me for sending them there. You're welcome. I love it. Keep the tweets coming and tell me your favorite flavors you get. Go to firewings.com and order online from the location nearest you. And when you pick those delicious wings out, you tell them Carmichael Baby. If you need a work truck, if you need a dealer who works as hard as you, like Mega Chevy in the Oak Grove Auto Mall, a business elite dealer, Mega Chevy has the commercial vehicle you're looking for. Work ready, Silverado, Express Vans, commercial loaners, and so much more. All backed by Mega Chevy Pros, who know your vehicles are your livelihood. Whether you need one vehicle or an entire fleet, Mega Chevy's got you covered. Business elite at Mega Chevy, Sacramento's number one Chevy dealer for over 10 years. Find new roads. Creek Casino Resort is growing, and we want you to grow your career with us. Our new expansion means plenty of opportunities, so we're hiring for positions throughout our resort, including hotel, food and beverage, spa, and much more. As part of our team, you'll receive weekly paychecks, medical, dental, vision, 401k, paid time off, gas discounts, and more. Make your future part of ours. Join our team and be part of the best. Cash Creek Casino Resort. For full job listings, go to jobs.cashcreek.com. Dine out for life on Thursday, October 11th. Beta Subaru and the Sunburst Project invites you to one of the most fun and community-engaging events. Dine out for Life Sacramento, Thursday, October 11th. Some of Sacramento's best restaurants, bars, and breweries will donate a portion of their proceeds to Sunburst Project, helping those affected by HIV and AIDS in our community. For more information and a list of participating restaurants, please go to diningoutforlife.com slash Sacramento. Dine out for life on Thursday, October 11th. Jill, why don't you tell the class what you did this weekend? Well, my dad and I went in search of some magical minnows and found a zillion of them in the stream from our lookout rock. Then my sister and I escaped from an evil slug king and went back to my super twig fort for safety. Then we told stories till it got dark and the Big Dipper led us all the way home. Where were you, Jill? We went to the forest. It's not that far away. Ask your parents to take you and your friends to the forest this week. It's closer than you think. Check out discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Do you have a job? Do you bring home four fifty per week? Do you want a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty included on your next new car? El Pro Kia is the only area dealer that includes a 20-year, 200,000-mile limited powertrain warranty on all new Kias. That's right. Included. A 20-year, 200,000-mile limited warranty on all new Kias. So why buy your new Kia anywhere else. Are you worried about your credit? Elk Grove Kia is pre-qualifying customers without needing their social security numbers. Log on to ElkGroveKia.com. Just enter your name and address and get your buying power, actual payment, and interest rate instantly without affecting your current credit score. Instant buying power, interest rate, payment, and 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty included on all new Kias. Only at Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall or online at elkgrovekia.com. On a blue credit, warranty includes sleepers, bright hair, and commercial vehicles. See dealer for warranty details at 103118. Broadcasting from the Sacramento Republic FC Studio. Xander Bogarts has the Red Sox on the board at Fenway with a homer off Yankee starter Masahiro Tanaka. Boston still trails the Yanks 3-1 as they play in the top of the fifth. Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez each with homers for New York as they look to even up the series at one game apiece. Boston starter David Price lasted just one and two-thirds innings, giving up all three runs. The defending champion Astros were looking to take a commanding two games to none lead on the Indians in their best of five series. Houston trailed 1-0 in the sixth when Marwin Gonzalez stepped to the plate with two men on facing Andrew Miller. Miller backwards glance delivers and Marwin shoots it in the right field and that's going to get down for a base hit. Altuve racing around third as the ball gets past Cabrera and all the way to the wall. Altuve scores. Second around third coming home. Put it up the side. Astros lead it 2-1. That is right.
Robert Ford on the Astros Radio Network. The Astros went on for the 3-1 victory to take a two games to none lead. Garrett Cole, seven innings, one run allowed. He becomes the second pitcher ever to strike out at least 12 and issue no walks in a playoff game. To college football, top 25 action. Texas is 21-point lead in the fourth quarter over Oklahoma. Evaporated in the span of six minutes, but the Longhorns still had a chance for the win. Tied at 45 with the seconds ticking down on the fourth. A 40-yard field goal try. Way Longhorn IMG Radio Network. That would be the final. Texas goes on the road to beat the Sooners. Sam Ellinger, 314 yards passing to go along with two scores. He also ran for 72 yards and three touchdowns. Other top 25 scores. Top ranked Alabama. No issues with Arkansas, 65-31. Clemson also remained undefeated with a 63-3 trouncing of Wake Forest. Ohio State took care of Indiana, 49-26. Florida handed LSU their first loss of the season, 27-19. West Virginia improves to 5-0 with a 38-20 two win over Kansas. Miami rallied from 20 points down to defeat Florida State 28-27. Michigan doubled up Maryland 42-21. Northwestern went on the road to upset Michigan State 29-19. In progress, nine minutes to go in the fourth. Central Florida all over SMU 48-13. Texas A&M 14. Kent Kentucky 7. Five minutes to go fourth quarter. Seven minutes left in the third. Georgia 28-6 advantage on Vanderbilt. Mississippi State 16. Auburn 6. Two minutes to go third quarter. And Notre Dame a 17th 16 lead on Virginia Tech. That game is at the half. I'm Darwin Zook. You can't keep track of everything, which is why I'm here to help. DA Sunday morning football tomorrow, 9 Eastern, CBS Sports Radio. two of the fantasy guys here at CBS Sports, and we are coming to you live from the Quicken Loan Studios. National mortgage lender, Quicken Loans, apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently, and we will confidently help you win in week number five. Keith Cummings, how are you tonight on the eve of Sunday? of the fifth week of the football season. Yeah, just looking forward to a week five that you know is going to be finally normal. We've had weird week three, we had the wild week four, week five, everything's going to go just exactly the way we say it's going to tonight. Yes, as we saw on Thursday night with the Colts coming out and playing very well offensively from the passing standpoint with Andrew Luck. Uh, we all thought he was going to struggle, and of course he did not because no quarterback struggles in the NFL these days, as we're probably going to see in uh, the action this weekend. Uh, as you can probably tell, neither of us are Adam Azer, our usual host of uh, Ion Fantasy Football. He is enjoying the uh, Miami Hurricanes 28-27 victory over Florida State. Came back from down 20 to win that game. I'm sure Adam is celebrating somewhere in South Florida. I myself am celebrating with the uh, Gators victory over LSU. They beat the uh, Tigers 27-219. Keith, are you celebrating anything today? I'm just happy for you guys. I would never <laughs> cheer against any of your teams. <laughs> of course not. Why would you? Uh, we're here to help you, though, set your fantasy lineups. You can call us up all throughout the next two hours at 855-212-4CBS. That's 855 855- 
212-4227. Before we take your calls, though, a lot of news, obviously. That's what happens in the NFL, and that's what we're here to help you sort of get through and figure out. So let's start with some of the uh, injuries that we're dealing with, Heath, and some news we already know. We know Giovanni Bernard has been ruled out for the Bengals. Joe Mixon is coming back. How are you approaching this Bengals backfield with all the Joe Mixon you can handle against the Dolphins? Yeah, you've got it. It's all the Joe, Joe Mixon Joe Mixon can handle. I'm not sure it's going to be all that we can handle. They have talked about easing him back in. If Bernard wasn't out, I was going to be very, very nervous about starting Mixon because I don't believe they want to give him 20 touches in his first game back, and I'm not sure they'll need to against the Dolphins. I still think you start Joe Mixon because Bernard's not there, but you should also probably try to add Mark Wolf. It's the two- to four-week absence for Bernard. If there's any type of setback for Mixon at all, Walton's the guy. Yes, uh, one of the beat the waiver wire guys, Walt 